happy that you are here. So today we're going to find out what's happening with you this week. Oh my goodness, we have tarot cards, oracle cards, and of course our charms and charm ends as well as like, yeah, well I have a collection of whole random things like you can actually make it to you. So it's like it has a whole bunch of everything in here. So that's what we kind of pull from. <laughs> so that's the Venetian dice and a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Um, so if you do like this reading or if you like all the stuff that I'm doing, please do consider subscribing, um, giving it a thumbs up. It just helps my channel grow and that's something that I'm kind of hoping to do. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, I do list out all the oracles and tarots that I use. Um, in the description. In the description you'll also find if you want to book a personal reading with me. I try to make it, um, you know, and budget friendly for everybody. <laughs> and of course, if you want to donate to the channel, there's also information down below. Just thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you, you know, for just here being with me and sharing your journey as we kind of go through this together. All right, enough jibber jabber, let's go ahead and look at each pile. So this is pile one, excuse the little bit of glare. So that's pile one, let's look at pile two, this is pile two. So look at like whether you like the numbers, whether you like the pictures, or I'll, I'll look at the little words as well. This is pile three. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in, close our eyes, clear our mind, and now as we exhale and open our eyes, choose whichever pile draws you to it. Alright, let's do this. Hello group one, so you chose this beautiful card, I actually quite like it a lot. The Wizard of Awareness, and you also have, I forget, this is like the different, right here you have the different circles. I feel like, I know there is an actual meaning to them. So if you know what the meaning is, please do tell me. Um, so we have that, we also have this person who's thinking about it. So it's like you've come to some sort of awareness about something. You do have, it also reminds me a little bit of the, um, the Magician energy. I feel like there's manifestations. Um, here, but it's also kind of reminding me of the King of Wands. So there's creative creativity coming through as well. So that's important. But being aware, I do feel like of your own power, um, and maybe how you want to use that power of yours, right? And so you're maybe thinking, what power? Our power it really does usually come from our thoughts and what we focus on. So. And, and maybe you have other sorts of gifts as well. Because with that one there, with the light, it just seems like there is. Okay, so we also have the eyes of beauty. So positive expectation and clarity. Yes, okay. And these actually go really well hand in hand. Because there is. This is the wizard of awareness, right? Um, and so I think it's like trying to get you to be aware of your own thoughts. And maybe how you look at um things <laughs> you know like how do you look at circumstances how do you look at people I, I feel like it's trying to tell you a positive expectation that's what it is um and I feel like that's part of your power it that's the connection that's what I was thinking about like how you look at things how you think about things that is important this week especially if you're having any struggles can you shift that around can you see the silver lining in every um situation and like I know it's sometimes hard but there is I feel like kind of looking at it if you can look at it in a different perspective that might give you some awareness or guidance here so we have struggle so we are I feel like and look it's kind of like the same face like there's thought there um, but this one is like you're trekking two things and you also have the door to ancestor so for me that is telling us very something important here so if you're going through struggle, and here again, and that's where I feel like how we think about things, how we look at things, um, and, and then have positive expectations in terms of like you will overcome the struggle. Um, but there's also with the door to ancestor, to me, it's like there is some sort of like knowledge or some sort of help that can be achieved 
going through the door of ancestors. So maybe um, actually connecting to your ancestors. Um, there's probably like I would say do maybe look up for the pick pick a card about that. <laughs> I don't think I've done one for ancestors. That will be something in the future to do. But I'm sure there are lots of like big cards for that. Or you can actually kind of like think back. Um, or talk to your relatives. Like something in the past is going to help you through the struggle. But it's from your ancestors point of view. So from maybe from your family. Or from what they've gone through. And so there's a struggle but you can overcome it. And it's very important to be positive. And know that you have that. That's kind of your power here. Like you have a power of creativity. And so for me, looking at that struggle and then having that creative um, perspective, right? This is the, and then maybe positive expectations. If you can, if you, if you look at whatever this struggle is with that, I feel like you can overcome it. And also with that ancestor ability coming through here so some guidance from the past is what i'm seeing here we have death so we do have like an ending so maybe this is an ending of a, str a struggle um i do feel like that would be kind of cool i like that maybe it is an ending of the struggle as you awaken to your own like power the wizard of awareness you awaken to your own power and in, into this um kind of like beginning to have positive expectations which i like a lot let's look at what um tarot has for us today we have the cup, queen of cups we have the six of cups yeah again the past we have to look at something in the past is going to give us guidance um and look at this it's like if you actually see the it's like a the cup something's give being given like some sort of like love support possibly but it's also for me it feels like knowledge coming through um and then we have the knight of pentacles so yeah so maybe things are taking time going slow and steady but building that foundation is very important the queen of cups also being there is that we're connecting again sort of to your power um and this time the power is your intuition um, there's just a sense of beauty and aesthetics. I don't know why that is, but like that, that feel like that Queen of Cups also has the sense of aesthetics and with the eyes of beauty, looking at things in that almost, oh, feel like, can you see it in that way of looking at things, like in finding the beauty in all situations. I do see that she's, um, pouring a cup out of, of like water. Um, to me, it's sort of like, Maybe releasing some emotions that need to be let go of. Maybe something from the past that we were overcoming. But I, for me, it's more of like, sort of like an emotion that, actually it's not even emotion. I'm feeling more of like, like clouded thoughts. I don't know why, why that is, but I, I'm almost feeling like clouded thoughts that have been kind of blocking you and so now you're pouring them out you're like sort of you're cleansing them there's like a sense of cleaning here as well um is there anything else so this is beautiful because you can actually like look at if you see things that i don't um and I, when i'm looking at this the six of cups i do think also like like somebody giving the like passing the baton if you will or or like something like that so it's like maybe ancestors have some sort of guidance for you in terms of like hey there's something that they you know that that you're meant to do that maybe they started i don't know for some of you that might make sense for others of you it's really but it really connecting to your intuition it's also in connecting to your um creativity and your power in both of those and and not trying to rush this process um as you the struggle it may be little by little but you're overcoming it with with this like death with the ending coming through so we have perfect oh look at that so i almost feel like this is interesting to me because well for some of you maybe you find um because it's a love card so this could be you found a perfect fit but for me it's like you keep trying until you find that 
perfect shoe and shoes are actually I love to watch a lot of K, like K dramas and Asian dramas and there's like a lot of them that have a theme where there's like you you know like why are you wearing shoes that like give you like calluses that hurt your feet when like a really good quality shoe like will fit you perfectly and it should just be like like walking very comfortably and that's sort of kind of what I'm getting here and, and I mean that in maybe in, in love coming through but I, I also mean that in in life sort of um, don't settle for something like for for things like there should be something that is that fits you um, and I, I like I, I don't know why that creativity is really calling to me it's like there's something that you need to to stop struggling like this and actually find that perfect fit i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> now let's see what your fortune for the week is patience is your friend yeah we're getting reminded about that with this um knight of pentacles here so it's definitely um being like echoed here so patience is your friend you're building blocks here so maybe it's trying to say don't try to rush to to fit um, whatever it is that you're trying to fit into, like, like, so if it doesn't fit for you, it doesn't, that shoe doesn't fit, then don't, don't try to force it, right? It's just going to be uncomfortable and you're going to have to return it. <laughs> well, you know, for some of you, hopefully that makes sense for some of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have here. All right. Oh, these guys wanted to come. Oh, we have a lot of and all this stuff. All right, let's go see. We have H already. H. We have H. Actually, maybe we'll move you over here. H. T. O. Q. Uh, look, look at this. I want you to see the sun and the clouds. So the confusion, there's struggle, but the sun is coming out, my friends. Um, I really do feel like it's an ending to the struggle coming to, and I like that. We also have entertainment. Um, so maybe for some of you, that creativity is creating some sort of entertainment. Um, we do have the safety pin. Hmm. Whenever I look at the safety pin, maybe for some of you, it might be baby coming in. But for others of you, I just feel like, oh, the safety it has the sharpness here to it, but it, it, it's a functioning thing. It's like, I feel like you can almost like you have that ability to, to strike through things or you can be safe. You have the ability to choose that about yourself. So you have a lot of strength is what I'm coming here. You do have friends, Tobin appreciation. That's definitely my three of cups energy here. We have, oh, somebody of the same age is coming through. Important. I do this is my little plastic ring so I feel like with this perfect maybe some sort of offer that isn't really up to your standard so don't just take it because you feel like you need to um let that not be have patience with things because there is wish fulfillment coming through for you um and for and two of lamb so this is more like an airy sign for me and it's also like but don't be too stubborn is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> or too feisty, too fightful. But there is a lot of fire energy with that creativity coming through. So I do hope you liked this reading. Um, if you did, please do consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. I truly, truly appreciate um, every single one of you. Thank you so much for being here, sharing your energy, sharing your time, and of course sharing your journey with me. I'm sending you so much love and so much light. Until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends. Hello, my dear friends. I'm so happy you are here, group two. Let's see, cleaning house, my friends. We are cleaning house. We're getting rid of all the stuff. Oh my goodness, I, I probably can't see this, but there's like butterflies coming in. So I feel like we're getting rid of the dust and we're letting new things come in. Um, and also here we have this falling leaf, which is always like, that's kind of a, a thing that's been following me for a while. <laughs> so we do have... Like, yeah, we're releasing things that are no longer needed. Yeah, I feel like there's almost a sense of getting rid of the clutter in your life. So I do like this. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I also like that there's a little kitty cat right there. Um, and we also have 
Uh, let's do this one over here. We'll put you over here. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little clunky. And then you guys actually got two of these guys. Not everybody. We have the Desert Prince. So we have Survival or for pro False Promises. And then we have the Ice Queen, which is Ideas Preserved, Non-Action, in Entitlement. Okay. So right off the bat, I see two, two polar opposites coming through here. <laughs> Um, we, I feel like there's a, maybe these might be people that are in your life, like one that is really, this reminds me of either a knight of wands, yeah, it feels like a knight of wands, um, and then this ice queen is the queen of swords. I do feel like you might be getting, uh, with the moon here in the background, that's important because we do have a full moon coming up, regardless this is a timeless reading, but. We also have the owl there, which is giving us insights possibly in our dreams. So dream time is important, but I also feel like... I also, I kind of want to say, needing to take action, like there's this action sense, but there's also a need to rest. Does that make sense? Um, I feel like finding balance. And I, what I'm trying to say is like, oh, we're cleaning house. So cleaning house might be this idea of like... Um, resting, uh, like getting rid of stuff that is like, I feel like even in your time, that's kind of taking like away from resting. Um, and then this for me is actually, I was even thinking, just looking at that survival, it's kind of like the first chakra too. It's, oh, and there's also a moon in the background here. Um, needing to take action for like, what's most important for you. Um, so that's survival. Survival is like having that home, food, um, so shelter, home, shelter, food, um, I forgot what the last one is, but for, there's like, I feel like health might be some of it, and if that's true, then that's the health that's telling you that we need to rest, that yes, we need to like, kind of, you know, work on things, but, and there is that, but there's a no need to balance that out with resting. Let's see what other things are coming through. <laughs> it's like, oh, what else is coming through? We also have the Dora Love. Wow, that's interesting. And we also have the Shadow Angel. So, hmm. Okay. And so this has actually been interesting because group one also had a door. Sorry that I'm putting my finger <laughs> in the little camera. Um, so shadow angel, so we're also working on our shadows here. I also feel like that's part of your cleansing. Um, and then how, how you can actually, like to be that door to love is kind of the solution. So shadow angels coming through the shadow angels helping you that you're kind of clearing out. And, and I, I was like with the butterflies, there is that angel energy. So there's stuff that you're not necessarily clearing out your shadows, but you're kind of like being at least noticing them and being aware to them and what what the solution here is love like don't be harsh towards yourself you know like i i always feel like oh we we try to think that we need to be perfect in some sort of way or in some sort of aspect um but no it's okay all those emotions that we have are okay we just need to um look at everything through that door of love the perspective of love um and maybe that shadow angel might be that ice queen in terms of like that, um, maybe saying a little bit, like being a little harsh, like for me a little, sometimes I, when I look at the queen of swords, like I, I, I really like that energy, um, a lot. Mm, she's one of, very much one of the queens I love, but sometimes that queen can be a little judgmental, can be a little... That's something that we have. And then, you know what's funny? When when people um, tend to be judgmental, they're actually not just judgmental of others, but extremely so of themselves. Um, and even if they're not aware of it, they're like always kind of, there's always that voice nagging them. So that's something that maybe you're looking through here. And look at that. Oh, it's beautiful how it segues. And through that love, we find forgiveness. Forgiveness for whatever it is that we have here. Um... And that we feel our, our shadows, forgiveness for all the things that we need to clean out and that we have maybe accumulated. There's a sense of forgiving ourselves for accumulating things, um, you know, like situations, emotions that we've accumulated and we're kind of holding on. And now I feel like, well, definitely if, if 
you're watching this when it was first, there was like a, an energy of like a full moon eclipse. So there was like a cleansing coming through. Um, so, but definitely a lot of clearing the way for new things. So let's look at what other stuff. So yeah, judgment, we're coming through here. We have the moon, very strong moon um, energy coming through with this pile. Um, so the moon is, again, it is that to me, is that shadow looking into ourselves, looking into our shadow selves. Um, and then facing them, seeing our true selves. Maybe like we have like, I feel like there's this monster kind of thing coming out of the water, coming out of our emotions. It's almost like, oh my goodness, our emotions sometimes overwhelm us. But so we suppress. We don't actually, a lot of the time we don't actually feel our emotions. We don't actually face our emotions. We kind of suppress them because we say, this is a bad emotion. I'm not allowed to feel this way. So we press it down. Um, and then so they just kind of fester and they create this giant like crab like thing and it needs to be come out We need to like let them through we need to like feel them and when we do look at this we have the judgment look look we have motion here from the from the moon to the judgment um, and then the judgment is almost like it's a reawakening it's a awakening of truly who you are meant to be um, and here I feel like there was some rest that they were taking and now they're coming out and again, the owl is playing an important role here. Again, connecting to your dreams, that's important. There's also a sense of like, with the three cups, friendship. Um, yeah, spending time with friends is important. <sighs> Whether it's this, I, I do really feel like those, the prince, the, the summer prince, I mean, is it? No, this is the desert prince and the ice queen. There are like people in your life too. I mean, there could be, um, well, you know, sometimes I often think about this and the people in our life kind of reflect energies in ourselves as well. Um, that's what I, I've tend. So if, if like there are people who challenge us, there's up an aspect of ourself that is trying to be challenged. I don't know if that makes sense, but it, it does to me, it usually feels like, oh, I'm calling these people in because I need to like they kind of mirror something in us I'm noticing that the moon here is also like look at this the moon phases here with that um so the moon is very very important for you so maybe doing uh like rituals for it could be good we have beginnings yes because we're finally clearing the way right we're finally you know removing all the things and so now we're stepping into new possibilities this is the reawakening card the judgment card we have the beginnings coming through um and you have stay grounded <laughs> and i feel like that's the because that's planet earth this is the moon so stay grounded and stay grounded in the i feel like almost like in the moon energy for you like really connecting to that let's go ahead and see what the charms slash donation guys slash everything are here oh <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, yes, we go. We got this. Oh, actually, I wanted to. Okay. All right, yeah. So, right, this one is very important. I'm going to probably move you a little bit here so you can see it. So, that's the trumpet. There's some sort of, like, sign, some sort of warning, possibly. Creativity or maybe, like, a, like some sort of flash of lightning. Um, for me, that's, like, yeah, like, being aware of something. We do have find the joy in the journey. Yes, we don't need to rush it. We are moving slowly but surely towards where we need to be. Um, growing good things. Yes. So focusing on growing good things, not trying to be, yeah, and be positive. Not like, and by growing good things, it's like when we're growing, we have to also tr like take care of the garden. We have to tend to it. Sometimes get rid of the weeds. I feel like there is time for a makeover or for, like I said, with this reawakening, it's like coming back to yourself, but even better, it's time to like bring some sort of new energy coming through. A, we have journey and again, in find the joy in the journey. So this is very much a journey. We have the little gingerbread man and that for me is all about being um, in the childlike wonder, the happiness, the, the joy in it, it, and never ever give up. Whatever we're going through this, we have angels again, like we have the angel, shadow angels, but in general, just the angels. We have the cup, so ace of cups. So, again, maybe for some of you, there might be love coming in this week. Um, <laughs> we also have home, which is outer space, so maybe you guys are star seeds or looking at things. Um, 
Yeah, because I feel like you definitely have some sort of connection here with the moon. So I feel like um, that's something that's kind of like letting you out of this world. Music. So for some of you, that that m messages are coming through music, especially with that horn there. That might be that. We have milk. Again, almost feels like nourishing yourself, taking care of yourself. I, and for me, it's almost like forgiveness as well. Um it's, that's what I feel like. We have the rose. So opening up. Your heart is blossoming. And look at that. For some of you. Okay. So for some of you, this love that's coming through might be with somebody who is like trying to take care of you, nurture your, you. Very caring um, water sign. <laughs> so for some of you, that's what it is. For others of you, somebody's trying to care for you. Take care of you and nurture, nurture you in some way um, because of that. I do like that. <laughs> I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please do consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. And sharing it if you can. <laughs> I, I appreciate you. I really like, I am very grateful to you for sharing your time, sharing your energy, and of course sharing your journey with me. Until I see you in the next one, I am sending you so much love and so much light. Bye-bye, my dear friends. Hello, group three. So you chose this magical shifter. Um, and so it is about, I almost feel like, Mac, magical map shifter. So you're getting to decide how your life is. Like, you have the power. I feel like you get to decide which way you want to go. I feel like you have um, the key here. So you're almost unlocking yourself. You're unlocking time. Um, the moon is also playing an important role, and that's also true. That's important. So I feel like what I'm seeing here, <laughs> especially in this time that we are right now with this full moon, um, is that you get to shift. And so what I'm seeing is that maybe you're going on a different new direction, and, we, and you're the only one who had two, two um, cards for this. So I feel like with the fog here, there's a sense of clearing, and I feel like... Um, your intuition is guiding you possibly to go in a different direction than you've anticipated. And that's okay. You make, you're going to be okay with that. Like there, it's your inner compass that you need to listen to, not your um, external one, if that makes sense. Yeah. There's a reason for this shift, right? There's a reason for you to maybe possibly go in a different direction. <laughs> Let's see what's more coming through. We have the dueling dragons, the dragon's duel, so inner conflict, morally conscious choices. Yeah, I feel like there's, like, you have choices coming through, and that's, like, your inner conflict. You have two different things. Um, listen to your own inner compass. I really want to say that. Your own intuition. Because I feel like that's unlocking something that needs to be unlocked. And, it, and I do feel like the energy right now, that's where you're, like, it's going to guide you to somewhere where you need to be. Don't try to push something, right? You, you're saying, I have to go a certain route, but don't do that. <laughs> like, oh, I just feel like if you're, if you're struggling, if you're trying to, like, struggle your way through something, it's like, but you feel like there's an alternative and you're just afraid of that alternative because it just feels unsettling to you um, to take that leap. I feel like that that leap is actually going to remove, like, make the struggle go away for you. Um, so hopefully, yeah. Yeah, look at that. We have to grind and unlock. Again, look at this. The keys here. This is love. And again, it's your heart. You have to listen to your heart. That's your heart inner hump that's the compass I, and I'm not saying this in terms of like love here but I'm saying in terms of like something your heart is telling you something but you're like no I have to do this like hard work here I don't know what it is I um but it is like you feel like but some your heart is calling you to something else listen to your heart because that's where the key is and if you keep on going this way you're eventually gonna listen to your heart it's just gonna be more of a struggle <laughs> okay because you are the map like that's the thing you are the map maker you are your own life maker um and that's an important thing to know we have birth and rebirth yeah so going through we i feel like birth and rebirth here it's almost again like there's a choice that needs to be made 
um, and then sometimes you need to start over again so it's not just a birth but a rebirth or maybe it's going back to something you you've been wanting to do or you put postponed for a reason and then it's like it's coming back again so it almost feels like an ace of wands energy because the ace of wands yes can definitely be all about passion and creativity but in a lot of like there is like a, a dead tree and then there's new life sprouting from it so there's that might be the rebirth that's coming through through for you oh look at that five of pentacles we are yeah and we are right now in a state of scarcity and i get you i really i often feel this i'm like and sometimes i have to like connect that's like i'm like nope because you have the power i really do want to say that and we have the six of swords yeah we're moving away from this into something better um i like that one a lot it's like oh going to save him and then we have the ace the queen of pentacle <laughs> look at this from scarcity to the queen of pentacles i really like i feel like your your whatever your heart is guiding you to is trying to get you away from this five of pentacles away from this somewhere safer to where you are truly abundant which is your true nature here so this is important this is an actually an important week <laughs> i'm sorry i don't it's not like okay it's not like do or die kind of week but it, there is a an, like this is an important week it is i, I can't say it, but there's no major arcana so it's not something like that but it, so that also lets me know that you have the power here you're not listening to your own inner power here you're you're kind of feeling like no i don't have power but you do this five of pentacles is not true five of pentacles has an ability to if we need help we ask for help right that's there's always a possibility of help um there's also here whether it's an external help or whether it's an internal help whether it's you know how it is because i feel like it's almost like spirit saying here it's like i want i want to like drive you away from something that's like that's harsh the harshness of this into something even better and i i do think that that's what it is hmm. so i would say this is actually yeah important it doesn't have to be just in one week my friends this might be something that you keep um working on but this is like making that decision once you make that decision you know like taking the and and you know when we make that decision doesn't mean that we have to like for example i'm not saying quit your job and and and, and do that no what i'm saying is that if you choose to shift and change especially because it feels like it's your job that doesn't mean okay quit your job or even it just means start working the progress towards what you really want to do right it doesn't mean um drop everything the leap doesn't have to be a, a, a do or die everything all in that that leap is like okay i'm going to start this project little by little it doesn't it has to be like from where i feel like i have nothing to feeling like no i have a lot like to do um and i feel like it's like you have that power right now this is an important week this is an important choice because it's not um it's almost like you're facing your fears and if if you can and and your fears for me is like scarcity it's abandonment for some of you maybe it's it's like it's it's being completely alone in a sense um and or, or financially uh unstable that's what the fear is you're facing your fear right um and in looking at it unlocking choosing something else it's like okay we're working on this now we're working on this project that's the leap that you take doesn't have to mean that doesn't you have to oh we you're, you know like all of a sudden you're gonna take your leap and you're gonna quit everything no uh that's actually sometimes that works but sometimes that is actually also kind of running away a little bit it's like no it, the leap can just be doing little by little working on it but choosing that's the thing here it's a choice what are you going to start following and what you're going to work on options <laughs> i'm like oh my god i love when the the magic of shuffling works so yeah choosing options you get to choose my friends and again it's it's sort of like here you also have that key there you are the one who chooses and here we go so deepen your connection 
And so, so like connecting with yourself. Um, I almost feel like I kind of want to say connecting with spirit there for you. <laughs> All right, let's see what your charms are going to tell us here. Okay, here we have the broom, my friends, and this is from my Lenormand, like I said. So the broom here, we're cleaning out, we're removing things. Um, I feel like that's the energy we have. It's actually, can you see everything? We have G, U, J, we have T, um, oh, look at this, yeah, look at this. We have the mirror, so we have, um, letting things see, or like if you have... Whatever it is that you, you do, like your worries, those are like, if you're feeling scarcity, that means that there's something inside you that feels that way. Does that make sense? It's like your reality is mirroring something of how you feel inside as well sometimes. Um, I, I don't think so. Having grace, like giving yourself the grace. Sheep, you don't have to, and you don't have to follow the same rude as everybody else you don't have to be like everybody else don't be. it's actually i would say you're not really meant to that you are i feel like you have a lot more to offer than you're allowing yourself to have it yep i i feel like again i feel like maybe connecting to here with the little like ghost <laughs> listening to your i feel your conscience but not in that way like attempting to follow your fear or attempting to follow not your fear that's what i would say Oh, look at that. Saying no to some things, maybe. Temptation, I feel like, with that apple. Um, wish fulfillment. I, I really do feel like the temptation for you is to be in that five of pentacles energy. We also have follow your own drumbeat. Yeah, I, I feel like there's, like, you're trying to to um, force yourself into being something you're not. Um, and following the, the sheep, if you will. You're not a sheep, my friend. I, I love sheep. I'm just saying you don't have to follow everybody you have to do what everybody else does um we have the hot dog or maybe spending some time in the park for some of you we also have the puzzle piece so something new is coming in here and it is look at this i want you to see and that's what it is this is one of your callings to create it doesn't have to be all at once my friends it doesn't have to be that you just quit everything no um i think that a lot of that has always been like you have to be a do or everything or nothing um, that's, that's not working. <laughs> a lot of people have that do or nothing. Like if, if you don't do your exercise, um, one day, then you just give it up. No, I, I think it's the facing your fears and working a little bit at a time. And that's the messages that I'm actually feeling for almost all the, um, that, all the piles. So that's important. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully you liked this reading. If you did, please do consider commenting, liking, and subscribing, and possibly sharing it with your friends. I am so grateful for you for being here and for sharing your energy, sharing your time, and of course sharing your journey. Thank you so, so much. You got this, my friends. Until I see you in the next one, bye-bye.